systems are non-functional. Engage reserve power. Aye, sir. Starfleet Command, this is Space Dock on Emergency Channel. We have lost all internal power. Point six hours present speed. Continue on course. Mr. Chekhov, and assign a Federation escort. No, sir. And no Federation vessels on assigned patrol stations. That's odd. Uhura, what's on the comm channels? Very active, sir. Multiphasic transmissions overlapping. It's almost a gibberish. Let me see if I can sort it out. Hi. Busy? Uhura is busy. I am monitoring. Hmm. Well, I just want to say, sure, it's nice to have your catra back in your head, not mine. What I mean is, I may have carried your soul, but I sure couldn't fill your shoes. My shoes? Forget it. Perhaps we could cover a little philosophical ground. Life, death, life. Things of that nature. I did not have time on Vulcan to review the philosophical disciplines. Come on, Spock. It's me, McCoy. You really have gone where no man's gone before. Can't you tell me what it felt like? It would be impossible to discuss the subject without a common frame of reference. You're joking. A joke is a story with a humorous climax. You mean I have to die to discuss your insights on death? Forgive me, Doctor. I'm receiving a number of distress calls. I don't doubt it. Clouds increased 95 percent. Tokyo, total cloud coverage. All power from reserve banks. Leningrad has lost all electrical power. Cloud coverage 100 percent. Temperatures decreasing rapidly. What is the estimate of cloud cover of the planet at this time? 78.6 percent. Notify all stations. Starfleet emergency. Red alert. Switch power immediately to planetary reserves. Switch it now, then. Mr. President, even with planetary reserves, we cannot survive without the sun. I'm well aware of that, Admiral. Ambassador Sarek, I'm afraid you're trapped here with us. There seems to be no way we can answer this problem. It's difficult to answer when one does not understand the question. Mr. President, perhaps you should transmit a planetary distress signal. But we still have time. Admiral. What is it? Overlapping distress calls, and now a message coming in from the Federation. On screen. of an orbiting probe are causing critical damage to this planet. It has almost totally ionized our atmosphere. All power sources have failed. All Earth orbiting starships are powerless. The probe is vaporizing our oceans. We cannot survive unless a way can be found to respond to the probe. Further communications may not be possible. 
Save your energy. Save yourselves. Avoid the planet Earth at all costs. Farewell. Hear the probe's transmission. Yes, sir. On speakers. Spock, what do you make of that? Most unusual. An unknown form of energy of great power and intelligence. Evidently unaware that its transmissions are destructive. I find it illogical that its intention should be hostile. Really? You think this is its way of saying hi there to the people of the Earth? There are other forms of intelligence on Earth, Doctor. Only human arrogance would assume the message must be meant for man. You're suggesting the transmission is meant for a life form other than man? At least a possibility, Admiral. The President did say it was directed at Earth's oceans. Uhura, can you modify the probe signals accounting for density and temperature and salinity factors? I can try, sir. I think I have it, sir. And this is what it would sound like underwater? Yes, sir. Fascinating. If my suspicion is correct, there can be no response to this message. Excuse me. Where are you going? To test my theory. Why don't you stay here? No way. Somebody's got to keep an eye on him.